separation of each different organization. And the reason this separation of powers uh, very important that to make politicians responsible to the public is because in the monarchy or communism, uh, there are no com political competitor or uh, competitor for powers. So, and their power is not from citizens. So there are no reasons to reform or renovate themselves or reflect citizens' opinion to the policy. So there will be a low responsibility to them and there are high possibility of corruptions. And the second reason is the popular se severity. Uh, this ideology is stating that the authority deciding the political form of the nation is up to citizens to, uh, to make it easier. Citizens decide, decide the nation's future and the form. And this re I think this uh, popular severity is of value, uh, important is because uh, through this democratic ideology, ideology, we can participate in the politics and we can vote for the leaders from mayor to the minister and president and we can have powers to bring them down too. And we people can create systems which popular amount of people can take advantage, not minor dictators get profits. In communist society, a single dictator or party rules over the whole citizens and great uh, per, they are great possibility of humanity ignorance and there will be a serious rich poor gap and rich get more richer and poor get poorer uh, I will give you an example of China uh, that they would they are never allowing the, any kind of an ideological freedom from the communist idea uh, this is uh, the presentation and uh, there's an absolute rule in the Catholic that the, no bishops or priests can be nominated by the other priest or the other political uh, form, form. The only pope and the cardinal can uh, nominate them. However, in China, they are neglect, neglecting this Vatican's opinion because of the political system and the event that Vatican approved the Taiwan as a nation which is a political enemy of China and they are not allowing uh, any bishops nominated by Vatican and they cut the priests in the jail and like this even a single religious rules can be neglected in the communist country so the politicians would be a puppet of the party or the nation so they would not they, uh, appeal their opinion to the nation and they would never able to reflect citizens opinion to the policy and it rather um, give a negative effect to the nation and lastly is the constitutionalism uh, the, it's the ideology that the whole political behavior or policy of the officials should, or the citizens should be based on the laws and democratic idea and regard, regardless of political positions even he or she is a president, uh, they are under this duty. So, although not all the people are behaving righteous and legally, but it's better than, I think it's better than the communist society because there are no legal systems or they don't have any duties about it at all. So there will be a much more uh, corruptions. So I think the democratic society is the best systems that make the politicians responsible to the public, so make the political society better and more yes. Thank you. More yes? <laughs> Thank you. Good, good organization. Try to, uh, next time, be a little more engaging, eye contact especially, gestures. Okay. All right. Nice. Good work. Um, Who's the opposition leader? That's you. Mm. Hmm? Don't forget the score. Okay. I will be the judge next time. Will you? Because <laughs> I'm going to Japan for three, uh, four days. So you'll be absent Monday? Yeah. That's fine. Why?
Uh, He's going to be absent Monday. So, so I'm uh, going to be the judge for Friday. Next Friday? Yeah. Sure. All right. Alexis. <laughs> I haven't decided. Probably. I brought my money. I don't have a, I don't have them with me. Oh, okay. Alexis, Alexis, Alexis. because there are no separation of power. Mm, however, uh, democracy is not the defective because of separation of power. Because, uh, for example, of our, our country, Korea, um, there are separation of powers, three separations, legislature and uh, ju 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 judicial. Judicial. Judicial and and. You said three. You're a judge. Oh, okay. I said two. You said executive, legislative, judicial. I executive. Oh. I didn't say. <laughs> uh, but the the three parts are very relative, and they um they don't do some uh. Don't, <laughs> uh, the three parts of the separate, uh, separation of power is not, uh, is not, is not, <laughs> uh, not real separation because they work together and always there are corruption, so it's not that effective because of separation of power. And he said, Communism, communism don't mirror citizens' opinion. However, communism is a theory of or system of social organization based on the holding of all property in common. So, it's uh, P Y. Well, yes. Well, communist country in now in nowadays doesn't share their. Citizens. Uh, but he said democracy is uh what but what does the democracy's uh meaning? Mm. Oh. Okay. Do you mean how does he define democracy? Yes. He said. What was your definition of democracy? Democracy is the the form of the country or political system that the citizens rules over the nation. Yes. Citizen is uh, okay. The definition is also not correct in this situation because uh, our the deputy pro leader of the opposition will talk about some problem of democracy, although the, the definition is not correct. 
So she will explain about that. Okay, no. Yes. <laughs> oh, at first, you're the leader of opposition. Yes. And um, he said, you said in situation, but it's the general definition of the democracy. But you're saying that this is the definition of your situation. This is not. Situation. She's saying they're going to redefine democracy. Uh, so you said this com definition of communism is not correct. So we are saying also that okay. democracy's definition is not correct. So I continue our reason. Our first reason is that many countries in the world today, notably China, are proving to be successful even though they are not democratic. And also most democracies su suffer from corruption and crisis on some level. Mm, today I researched some very uh, many examples of each country. Two are democratic countries and not, two are not democratic countries. So I'll focus on each, each situation and example to prove my reason. Uh, first, two are democratic countries and first up that is Europe. Europe is uh, not a country but th these countries Many countries in Europe are suffering from a uh, financial crisis, especially England, France, Italy, Spain, Belgium. Uh, it's a very serious problem in that countries. So uh, I prepared one chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hit it. Okay. It's so small, but this is the average index of inst industrial product growth of Europe countries, average index. So this point is 2008. Mm -hmm. So there, then 2000, yes, in 2008, um, the financial crisis has begun. Okay, so what's the first point? What's the beginning point? What's the time span? 2000. 2000, okay. So, it, uh, because of this financial problem, Europe is now in a crisis to be separated uh, in many parts. Uh, Scotland and England and Flanders in Belgium Basque of Spain and Catalonia in Spain had already became independent from original countries because of financial crisis. And my second example is USA. Um, this, <laughs> this is the debt of USA. It is very... Ah! <laughs> USA has is had a change like this, so it is their expenditure in, and it is their income. So and according to CBO, their debt seems to increase uh, until 2019, and there will be 82 percent of debt in their GDP. So these are my two examples of democratic countries and now I show rest two countries and it's simple uh, it's, it is China a financial gro growth rate and this is Vietnam financial growth rate and other charts are in our other our leader of the uh, leader of uh, Deputy, ah, deputy leader of the opposition <laughs> has uh, many other charts about these many financial problems and social problems. So uh, I already mentioned that first two are democratic and latter two are non-democratic countries. We can find out that uh, many countries in the world today are proving to be successful even they are not democratic countries. And I believe my research examples helps your understanding of this. Thank you. <laughs>
She has a slight meltdown. Logan. <laughs> what are you doing? It's so hot. Okay. Do you think dancing will help? <laughs> nice tiger. <laughs> problem in separa separation of power in democracy. But we are not talking about effectiveness. It's about responsibilities of politicians and their cleanliness. cleanliness. And second, he, she said, the communist country like China are growing up. But However, manufacturers from inside and outside of country make them more powerful and fall behind. Now I'll get to my reasons. <clears throat> our idea is, our, our, our resolution is that democracy is the best form of government. My reason is that most of developed countries are democratic countries. <clears throat> so. After World War II, communist countries have fallen, like Soviet Union. <clears throat> and after after World War II, the United States and United Kingdom, like democracy, but not fully democracy, like U.S. Uh, U U.K. <clears throat> has has dominated the world, and they're still dominating the world. So here is the top 28 countries that has highest GDP. So the United States has top rank, of course, and the South Korea has, has rank in ninth, and the sixth place United Kingdom is 14 Japan. And why I highlighted this is that those are parliamental government, but they. Their freedoms and you know, human rights are well guaranteed. So that's why I highlighted them. And my second reason is that um, potential. Oh, ah, I didn't talk about the defini the definition of the developed countries, the exact definition of the developed countries. So, more developed countries, or MDC for short, is a sovereign state that has a highly developed economy and an advanced technological infrastructure related relative to other less developed nations. So, I'll get to my next reason. <clears throat> my next reason is more POI. Yes. I'm sorry, but I didn't get your idea. Because the words were so complicated. Oh, okay. So, MDC, more developed countries, for sure, and is a sovereign state that has a highly developed economy and advanced techn techn technological infrastructure related to other less developed less developed. Amy, I, I'm not talking about your speed. Oh. Uh, can you explain about the past a little bit more? Okay. So, most of developed countries are democratic countries. So, you were asking about this? Amy, I didn't understand your idea. My idea is the most of... I mean, that passive. Mm -hmm. What you were talking about. About sovereign... Oh, okay. yeah. So... And infrastructure. Countries is more has developed economy and better infra. So infra talks about infrastructure. City, yeah, city, city structure and like public, 
yeah, public society. So, did you get there? Okay. My second, also, I get to my second reason. My second reason is the democratic countries have more potential. The so there is BRICS. Uh, BRICS. Uh, there is a country called BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China. But uh, and yes, that's yeah, that's right. What is X S? Okay, but B. The Brazil is also a democracy country, and Russia is also a democracy country, and India is also a democracy country. But China is not fully a democracy country, but they claim they say they are a democracy country. So I have a graph and a map that claims uh, that governments who see themselves as democracy. So these red countries are doesn't uh, don't see them do not see themselves as a democracy country. So the first one is Vatican City, and the second one is Saudi Arabia, and third one is Vietnam, and the fourth one is Brunei, located in, in southern Asia. And this is the graph. So you can you can see big difference in the graph and also the map. So the blue part is really dominating the graph by ninety seven percent. And you can see this is the two um, that how many the democratic countries and non democratic countries and can see a lot of difference. What, what is the first one in blue? So this one. Yeah. This one is yes. that how many governments see themselves as uh, as a democracy. So they claim that they okay. are claim democracy. claim yeah public claim. Yeah. You can see a lot of difference in the, this graph, this two graphs. Mm. So and. I mm, I spoke two reasons about those about my art reasons. Mm, I gave you I think I gave you enough reasons. So I we think that democracy is the best form of government. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Is your okay. third argument what is the third argument? Part of it. It's not necessary. Uh, if we had a larger class, we would get into that. Okay, so the second argument is over. Oh, yeah, the second argument is over. Well, Andrew is going to give the second argument for their team. Okay? Andrew, we've got like six or seven minutes left, so you might want to go ahead and get started. Okay. give the, um, the follow-up, the final speech, and that'll be Monday. Okay. So, if you want to find inconsistencies in her argument, but also you should attack the, their entire premise as a whole. Okay. Part. May I ask you something? Sure. Oh. Turkey considering itself democratic, yeah. Is it really? There are a lot of countries that aren't really democratic. They consider so themselves like Poland, China, Poland, or something. Russia, Just yeah. 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 A lot of state, a lot of uh, countries in the Middle East, Turkey, Egypt, um, Syria is a good example. You know? okay.
Do I present? Pardon? Do I present? <laughs> no. That was enough just telling me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Andrea, and I'm the, uh, I'm sorry, the feudal leader of the opposition. And I want to talk about uh, two things. Include the, and the one more of supportive, Support supportive examples of the our first reason, which our leader of the opposition claim. Okay. Um. Before I say my reasons, I want to uh, rebut some points. What uh, the Deputy Prime Minister said. Well, you, <laughs> well, you rebut. Uh, our team as that this debate is not talking about the reality, it is actually talking about the real defi definition of the uh, theory, right? You said it that way. Okay. okay. Right? Okay. So you really said it that way? I said that the fact is. Okay, so that you are not talking, so we are not, we are not now talking about effectiveness, only the theory's uh, no, characteristic. But he said the responsibility of politicians. No, 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 I have a question there. <laughs> he was dealing with the idea for five, whole five minutes about the economic reality and not about the theoretical thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, the government team said that just with the uh, definition, the democracy is much better than commun communism, right? Yes. yes. Okay. But, well, actually, it's not working well. Commun it is, oh, communism is not working well in most of the countries, as we can see. The, most, the, most, the best example is North Korea. That actually, we can't call... Well, actually, that country is uh, kind of considered as a hell existed on the earth, right? Exists on the, in, <laughs> on the earth. And uh, yeah, it's true. It's not working well in a real country. And as you said, the Russia was... The not Soviet, the Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. The Soviet Russia. Union. Hmm. Not Russia. Soviet Union it is actually there now separated into... Many countries, right? And uh, but uh, well, if we just look at the theory of communism, the communism is actually good too. You know, they they're they're actually talking about uh, they actually if we don't consider about the effectiveness, communism is are also talking about no 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 homeless people and uh, everybody's is equal equalize it and everybody can have a equal payment and no poor and no gap of no gap between poor I mean poor and rich so um just with the definition of, of the theory of communism is also good right and the and the, if we and the, you, we are talking the communism is not good because of its effectiveness. And also, if we look at about the effectiveness, democracy is not working well, too, nowadays. Well, the idea is good, but um, it's not working well in reality. I'll give you some examples. And, and that is my main reason, my main idea of my uh, speech. Sure. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'll give you some example of this. Some cases like is happening in Korea. The first thing is that a company calls McQuarrie. Have you ever heard of this company? McQuarrie. McQuarrie. It's a Korean company actually. This company later is actually the nephew of President Lee Myung Ba. Did you know that? Actually, and and. Uh, Actually, as you can see, the government and this company is very, very 
related. And uh, government uh, sold a tunnel of Umyan Mountain to Macquarie Company. And because of it, um, just because government was focused on economy, not re not about social, not about the other majority of people, we have to pay two thousand five hundred one just to and just to use that tunnel. And actually, it is increased. It actually. Uh, in 2000, after 2015, there's a, there's a plan that the company will rise the fee to 3001 Well, we can't say anything to the company because actually it's the, it's, it's the thing which com company is having. Okay, and the, and the more, and the worst thing is, um, Company makes a plan. Why are you laughing? <laughs> made a sound. My stomach. Oh, okay. And the company makes a plan at the at the start of the year. Is it right at the at the beginning? Sure. Beginning yeah. of the year. And uh, what if they can't? If they if they don't get enough money at the end of the year, uh, government pays rest of the money with our taxes to the company. It's not fair, right? All right. Okay. Save the rest for next time. Uh, we'll finish up and you'll start, wait a minute. You'll start preparing um, for the next.